Hi there, this is Shaurav and today we will see how to do test driven development TTT approach. I tried to search in YouTube but I didn't get any good video on that so I thought to create this small video. In this video we will simply cover one or two functions from the component using the test driven approach. So this is the basic application I have created. Now I will go to the code base and simply delete all the content from the HTML file and in TS file is blank now. In the TS file there is nothing, only one step file. So our approach would be now to do the unit testing first for something which we will going to write in our TS file, the actual component file. So let's first think about the feature we are going to develop. So in this case we are going to do a simple summation uh, of two numbers. So in the HTML we will have two numbers number one and number two and a button on click of the button will call a function that will simply do the summation. So in the TS file we will have one sum function. So we'll just write the So first try to do the ng test and let's see how this works. Okay, you can see the one test case is success. Now we are going to write our first unit testing. So should sum two numbers. Right, so Okay, I'll just follow this approach. This is just for our testing purpose, so I'll follow this approach. So, say I have I'll have a function sum, right? So I'll pass two number to this function. So number one will be two, and number one will be three, and this should return me. Return me the output. And then we can expect that the output will be same as five. Right. Now you can see this will fail. Right. As expected, but our our approach would be to to pass this test, not to cover the code base, but to pass this test from our TS file. So write a function here. So sum and a number one. So it will be number one, type of number. Number two, it will be type of number. It will return the the summation it will return okay now let's check this one it got success right so this is the way we can do our TDD approach so first we will write our test cases then from the component file, we will cover those test cases, not the vice versa. The traditional approach is like we write our functions block, then from the unit testing spec file, we cover those, those functions. But in this case, 